Hey friends, my name is Josh, and today I want to introduce you to some new commandlets that are in the Milestone PS Tools PowerShell module. Uh, specifically, these commandlets are for working with smart client profiles. This was introduced in version 23.1.2, released at the beginning of April. And these commandlets will help you to, uh, to view, modify, import, and export smart client profiles. All right, so what is a smart client profile? Let's take a look in the management client here. And in this test setup, I have these three profiles along with the default smart client profile. And you might have different smart client profiles for uh, different departments, different uh, different types of users of the, of the video management software. Um, some users may uh, need to be restricted from performing exports, or they may need to, uh, for example, have a different set of views available, different view layouts available to them. Um, there's a lot of different configurations that you can do to change the, the smart client experience. Um, and you see along the bottom here, we have several different tabs. Uh, and in the module, we will reference these as namespaces. Um, that word was chosen because we have a similar concept with roles and permissions. There's this overall security concept, and we have different security namespaces, whether you're talking about camera security or hardware security, recording server, uh, different, uh, different elements with different sets of permissions. So the same concept applies here. And yeah, so let's take a look at what it looks like in PowerShell to list the smart client profiles we have and the the settings or the attributes. Okay, so I have my PowerShell terminal open here. I'm going to start with logging into my management server. So these are shortened parameter names here. So we have show dialog. If we are interactively using PowerShell and we want to log in using a dialog, and I usually throw in a force there just to make sure that if I'm already connected to a server, uh, I'll disconnect and connect to the new one. So log in here. Oh, I accidentally switched to the wrong credential. Okay, I'm connected. Let's list our smart client profiles. So all of the smart client profile commandlets are prefixed with VMS client profile. So get VMS client profile. This will list all of them for us. And if you do a dash name, you can tab complete smart client profile names. You can also hit control space and do list completion. So we have our profiles here. And if we want to look at the general settings for a particular profile, it's get VMS client profile attributes. Now there is a namespace parameter that'll allow you to filter the results to a specific type of uh, smart client profile attribute. So in this case, let's look at the general attribute or the general namespace. And then there's one other parameter here, this value type info. I will show more about that a little bit later. So if I hit enter here, I receive a hash table for each namespace that I've requested. In this case, it's just one. And so on the left here, we have a column showing the keys. These are the names of all the keys in the hash table. And then on the right, we have the values. So we have a key here telling us what namespace these attributes are for. And we have a list of all of our attributes. Okay, so let's take a look at just one of these attributes. Let me save the results into a variable.
Okay, so in this case, well, let me pick a attribute that has some other properties here. So we'll go with general default image quality. Okay, so we have a value of full and we can see that it is locked. So some settings can be locked by the administrator so that as a smart client user, you only have access to what the administrator has given you. Uh, you can't change the setting yourself. Some of these don't have a true or a false under locked. That means it's not a property that, that can be locked by the administrator because it's not a setting that is manageable by the user typically. And then you'll notice this value type info column is blank. So when you retrieve the smart client profile attributes, um, you can also get this value type info collection. And what that is, is a collection of um, uh, properties that define the valid values for that setting. So in this case, uh, general default image quality, how do we know what other values are available? Well, by default, the value type info isn't included because it does bloat the results of the of the hash table that you get. You get a lot more uh, data in there, um, especially for certain properties that have uh, very lengthy uh, sets of value type info. But if we want that, because we're trying to explore what the available options are so that we can build a profile uh, and reuse that, then we can say... value type info here. We can use the value type info switch when we get the attributes. Now, if I look at that same setting, general default image quality, we have a little more info. And I can do dot value type info. And now I have a list of the different values that are supported. And these are the display names for those values. So these are the values that you would see in management client. So if we switch over to management client, and that was the general default image quality. What's this setting right here? You can see these supported values match what we see in that value type info collection. Okay, and so of course you can use, if we have a get VMS client profile attributes command, we have a set profile attributes command. So if I want to change the setting, I'll just change it to low. And I'll set it for the loss prevention client profile. Okay, and because we included the verbose switch, we get information about what actually changed. And if we switch to the management client and refresh the settings here, we can see that this has now been switched to low. All right, so now you know how to read and update smart client profiles. Of course, you can create new client profiles with the new verb, so new VMS client profile. And then you can specify a name and a description if you want. And now we have a new client profile. And if you create a new profile, it will be created as a copy of the default smart client profile. So whatever the settings are, for your default profile, it's the default settings for any new profiles you create. All right, so let's say something happened and somebody accidentally deleted all your smart client profiles. Well, if you had exported them beforehand, you can recreate them. So let's do a quick demo. I'm gonna export all of my client profiles.
And now I have a JSON file describing all of my client profiles. If you only want to export some of them, you can do that too. You can specify which client profile you want to export and just export those. But we've got them all backed up to this client profiles.json file. Now I'll show you what it looks like if you open it up. It is a compressed JSON file, so the formatting is not user friendly. Um, I have VS Code here though, so if I do Alt Shift F, it's gonna format that for me nicely. And so this is a nice machine readable copy of the client profiles. So we have an array of each of the profiles and all of their namespace, their, uh, their attribute namespaces. Okay. Now let's get rid of all our client profiles. So what I'm typing here is I want to get the client profiles and I'm saying I don't want the default profile. So there's a default profile switch that lets you just automatically grab the default profile. And with PowerShell, the syntax for a switch allows you to provide a false value if you want. And so that's what I'm going to do here. So there's our four custom user-defined client profiles. And I'm going to remove them. Okay. And now they should be gone from the smart client, or excuse me, the management client. And we're left with just our smart client, or our default smart client profile. And if I type import VMS client profile, there's an extra option here called force. On an import, it will create the client profiles if they don't exist. If they do exist and you want to update them, you can include the force switch and then the settings that are in the JSON file that you're providing will be used to overwrite the settings of the existing client profile. There we go. So we have some verbose output here, but you can see it has created the new client profiles for us. And if we open management client, it should be back to where we left it. There we go. So I had added a name here for all of these. Um, I just set a, a little message in here so it was easy to see that this has been configured the way that it was configured before. All right. So what if, um, let's see, what else is there? We'll use git command, take a quick look at our commandlets. Uh, so we have covered uh, git client profile, git client profile attributes, import, export, uh, remove, set, that's great. So the last one was uh, was really just copy, and that's fairly straightforward. If we wanted to create a new client profile that is a copy of an existing one, but not the, the copy of the default client profile, then we could do get PMS client profile. We'll say loss prevention, copy PMS client profile, new name, loss prevention copy. There we go. So we can see that it created a new client profile, and then we can see any changes that it made to um, to take the default smart client profile uh, template that it used and update that to match our source profile. All right. And the last thing that I will show you is the documentation. So if you visit milestonepstools.com and you type in client profile, you'll see in the search the commands that are available to you. So we'll take a look at export VMS client profile, and we have multiple examples showing how you might do that. Same with import and all the other commandlets for client profile.
I hope this helps. And if you have any questions or feedback, it would be greatly appreciated if you could reach out to me on the PowerShell Samples GitHub repository, and I'd be happy to take an issue there. Thank you for watching.